All right, what's up, y'all? This is um changing the brakes on my daily. I got an Infinity Q70. Uh, it's long overdue. I, I can see, as you can see, these brakes are uh, these rollers are done. Um, it's been metal on metal for the past like week. I haven't gotten around to um to doing this, changing them out. So I bought my mama socks. Bought some TRQ <clears throat> brakes and rollers. Um, I bought a new jack. So yeah, if when it when I brake, it sounds like an airplane is like soaring over me. Like it is, it is, it's loud and it's obnoxious. So it's a twenty-one. See, so yeah, I'm recording me doing brakes. I only done brake job one time. <clears throat> And that was on my Mustang when I swapped out the PP2 brakes for PP1 brakes. No, correction, I swapped out my Brembo's for four custom brakes. So yeah, jack this car up and then take pull off and get to work. All right, I didn't feel in the first one because I had to give it a shot myself. I struggled for a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. But um, I, I got all figured out now. So you need a you need a 14 mil for these bolts. You need a 19 mil for these bolts. And uh, before you get started, you want to push that piston back. It's in the brake. With one of the, with um, I have a scissors because I don't have no um um crowbar crowbar you want to call it, but you. You come in here, and then you just push it back. And that piston's that piston's right here. The piston goes back into the um, whatever you want to call it. Goes goes back into it. So when later on down the road, whenever you put this back on, um, it's a lot easier to put on. So I'll, I'll show you the next step. Um, and after you're done, you want to get in your car. It's dirty, I know. Get in your car and press the brakes like three or five times, and then. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put the wheel back on to the other side. I'll show y'all that side. Not gonna lie, y'all. I watched a YouTube video on this, which is one of the reasons why I didn't record the first one, but I'm about to show y'all. So the first step, you will need preferably Damn, I forgot word for it. I have a knife, but you need your a pry, a pry bar, a small one. So the goal is to put it in here and to push this piston this piston back. So, see how it's moving a little bit? The goal is to try and get it more deep, there you go. Deeper in there, and then you see that piston, that whole piston is going back. So that's the goal. Let me grab a, grab a knife. The whole goal of it is, is to pull the piston back. So, see how it's moving? So once you get that, I think it's back all the way. Yeah. Yeah, come here with that. Yeah, it's back all the way. So next step is you don't need to take this one off. Actually you gotta loosen this one. Yeah, so you gotta loosen that. Loosen this is 14 mil. My bad. This is a 14 mil. Don't take it off, but loosen it. The other one's right here. Which is that right here? So get this for get this one completely off, and then get this one loosened. You'll see why in a second. All right, so now you got this bolt off and this one loosened. Instead of taking taking this off, make it harder for yourself and later on down the road. You just flip it up, you pull it out, and you set this. I'm putting it right there. You see how the piston is inside now? Oh shit! So piston's inside now. Alright, next step is to get a 19 mil and get both of these out. 19 mil, both of these out. It may be a little tough, but so you can get it. If you get those bolts off, you're gonna have this. Other right there. So your next step, in order, in order to get this roller off, you're gonna need to get you, of course, a pry bar, but I don't have one. Hold on. Get you a pry bar. In this case, I have a butter knife. You want to put it right behind 
this ear right here. Right behind the ear, and you want to pull as hard as you can. Let's see if I can get it. Sorry, y'all. My allergy is beating me up right now. If you can't get it, uh, next step is to get that hammer. And with the hammer, while doing this, hit right here in that area right there. Right, right here. Yeah. So let me try that method real quick. To make it easier on yourself, I don't want to think about this, but go behind the roller and just hit it. I wasted about five minutes trying to do it that way I just showed you, and it was stupid. So just do it that way, y'all. But um, whenever y'all take it off, clean up this area a little bit. And if I want to break dust and grime and all that, get all that stuff off. I'm trying not to curse no more. Let's see all that get me, but yeah, get all this. Just if you see it dirty, just get a little rag, man. Just clean it off real quick. You I'm thankful for in the long run. So, you know, some of that rust off. Just tie up a little bit. All right, so once that off, you want to get this off. Apparently, it's supposed to hold the e-brake. When, when you brake, when you put the e-brake up, I guess. So pop that out with your finger. I might need two hands for this. Hold on. Do not lose this piece. All right, so after that's off, Got the rotor off, got that garment piece off. Next step is to take these clips off. Very simple. Let me brace my foot on it. Get you a knife, pop it off. Get you another one, watch this. Pop it off, that easy. So same thing with this, man. Get your rag, get all that dirt and grime, Get out and get that up out of there. So just get you. It don't gotta be squeaky. Dang, I gotta shoot. It don't have, it have to be squeaky clean. But just try your best and get some of that stuff out. Sorry if I sound sick. I am. I'm not sick. My allergies are beating my ass right now, man. During this time of season, when the pollen's out and all that stuff, and trees are blooming and flowers are blooming. Man, my allergies are the worst. So after that's done, um, actually, we can put on the roller, actually. Yeah, okay, let's put on the roller. So here's where the brake, here's the clips, brake clip, brake part roller. Let's get open the roller. That's a terrible tape. Brand new. Not a smart idea. All right, we got this bad boy off. Remember, I said that garment piece. Hang on to it. We're gonna hang on to it, brother. All right. So this goes in here. That easy. But you want to get some brake cleaning, right? Wipe this down. I don't have none, so I'm just use my my rag and wipe it down real quick and put it on the car. That's all I'm gonna do. So wipe it down, give it a quick wipe down. There might be some grease and some oil from the factory on here. That's that. Get the other side. The other side, man. Yeah. After that, we're gonna put it on. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. I think I'll be able to. <sighs> Don't get your finger caught. <laughs> Brand new. Woo. All right, next step. Put these clips in. Oh, crap. Into this way. Yep. Just snap on. Just like that. And snap on. Just like that. 
Just like that, brother. Alright. After that, I'm gonna grab the lube. Never wanna leave a girl dry. So uh, this is not I mean it came with a, a little bit, but I, I, I prefer more, but put some grease on there. And the spots where the brake pads are gonna hit. That's uh and let's switch over to this side. Get that side. And we're gonna get right here, brother. Get it all lubed up. Alright. Alright, after you got them lubed up, put the first thing on and to lock it, to lock it in place when we just spot. Get your 19 bolts and put them in that hole. Exactly what I'm about to do right now. Those two right there and right here. So once that's not down, um, I'm not feeling pretty fast. Some people like put it in before. But I find it easier for me to just snuck this down, man, and just put it in myself. So I try to put this one in right now for y'all. Actually, get all that, get that grease right in there. All that grease in there. And just put this one in. Boom. See how easy it is? Let me get the next one. Get that one all spread out. This one all spread out. This one might be a little tricky. It gave me a hard time the other time. But yeah, hold on. Alright, so both brake pads are in. The one with the clip right there, that little small clip right there on the brake, that's going in the rear. And then there's one without the clip going on the front. So, and after that, whew, boy, we're gonna put this on. Actually, we're gonna loop this up also. Hold on. So how's this going? It's going like this. So yeah, we're gonna loop this up also. Sorry, sorry, it's just so raw. It was such a raw video. As in, like, raw as in, like, <clears throat> I'm talking and then messing up and stuff. Sorry, it's so raw, but I feel like it's not the real thing, man. If I don't, you know what I'm saying? If I don't um, speak how I really speak, you know? So I'm going to get the real deal experience of Sig, man. Real deal experience of Sig, dog. Oh. My favorite YouTuber is TJ Hunt. I watch him religiously. And um, as you always say, I'm not an expert, but we're gonna try. So, now if we're done with that, put this back in that hole. And test, make sure it fits. So, the way to test and see if this fits is, so you so remember what I told you earlier is get that piston back. This is your way of seeing if you need to push it back more. So if, if this goes on smooth, then you did you did your your part at the at, at the beginning. See, see, a piston's in it. So a piston was already um already out. I mean inside. So that went smooth. So what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna grab this 14. I'm gonna put this back in her. So now I'll talk y'all. Put it in here. If it'll go. Actually, well, there we go. This garment piece was in there, but the in there like that. I always forget my righty tire to have a Lucy. Get that snug down like that. And get this snug down. You wanna. Grab your 14 ratchet and snug her down, brother. And that's about it. See, this is easy. I struggled the first part. It's my first time doing it on this on, on Infinity. So, of course, I looked it up. You know, I don't want to give y'all some wrong information or something like that. So, yeah, yeah. So, after that, man, that's pretty much it. That was the easy install. It took me like 20 minutes for this up. Yeah, I got new brand new rollers. 
The old ones, oh my god, the old ones look terrible. See that? Hear that? That's bad. Hear this? See this? Bad. So, got that fixed. And then, once that's done, complete, come inside, press your brake a few times to close that, um, that piston. And yeah, man, that's it. Took me a minute. But I got the job done. So I'm gonna try to go to more car meets and stuff and get some content. So I can build my channel up. Cause my goal is to literally do YouTube, travel the travel the country and drag race. That's my dream job. Travel the country, learn about car, work rough amount of cars and drag race. That, that's 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 my dream. So I'm trying my best and get this ball on the road and um yeah, until next time, next video. Peace.